Hi guys, welcome to Free Buffet Pile Yoga Challenge. Let's go ahead and start at the beginning of the mat or whatever space that you're in. Close your eyes, drive your shoulders back. Raise your toes to feel the energy coming up the feet. Fingertips reaching towards the ground, engage your lower abs. Feel, have that elevated feeling right here in the lower abs. Natural curvature in the lower back, so tailbone heavy, drawing towards the mat. Inhale, bring hands up and over your head. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look up over horizon. Exhale, forward fold. From here, take your left foot, step back. Rotate it out. Find your balance, come up. So this is more or less modified warrior one. Vero one. The reason being is there are two options. In the one, your feet are really squared, your hips squared and facing forward. I found it that it's a lot of us have really tight hip flexors and hamstrings and glutes and minimal um, range of motion in our ankles just because of a modern lifestyle. So it's really hard without torquing the knee to face the hips forward unless you're really flexible. Go ahead by, num by all means. So from here, let's sink a little more and come up. Inhale, exhale. I'm reversing the inhalation and exhalation just to see how you can maintain the normal steady state breath without raising your heart rate too much. Keep on going. We're pressing through the heel. When we come up, the weight is equally distributed between two feet and it's both feet are active. Keep on going. One more, stay here. From here, clasp your hands behind you. Hinge at the hip, forward. Actively press the palms of your hands into each other so there's no space in between. Drive your shoulder blades back, smile through the collarbones, raise your toes. Even better engagement of the legs. Stay here. Breathe. Release your hands, shift your weight forward so everything is facing forward. Take your right foot, step back, paddle the feet. Release a little tension. Shift your weight forward, shoulders over the elbows, over the wrists, chaturanga, cobra, breathe. Think about where your upper body is in cobra. Are you having any tension in the lower back or the neck? Paddle your feet. Take, shift your weight forward, take the right foot, step back. Take the left foot, step back, forward fold. Stay here for a moment. Shift your weight on the inside of your feet. So it's not on the heel, not on the front. Bend your knees so much, so play with the positioning of your hips. So your chest and the ribs is resting on the legs. Let your hands drop, feeling the stretch in the lower back. From here, Take your ankles and keeping the chest and the ribs on your quads, try to straighten out your leg and come back. Straighten and just sit your hips down. Sink them down as if it's in the chair pose. Straighten and sink. Let's do a few more. Woo, a little balance. On the last one, Extend your legs, bring your hands in front of you. Open your feet about shoulder width. Take your hands, grab your ankles. We'll squat down, come back up. When you're squatting down, adjust your feet so wide that when you're squatting down, your heels are not coming off, the ankles are not sickling, and the entire foot is on the mat. So just play with the width. And you only come as high while your chest maintain the um, contact with your quads. Come up, bring the feet together, inhale, bend your knees, 
Hands up over, exhale, Namaste, the hands heart center. Again, inhale, bring hands up and over. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look up. Using your glutes, bring yourself up. Exhale, forward fold. Take your left foot, step back. Rotate it out. We're staying sideways, so you're moving forward towards me. And let's go from side to side. Bring in the toe up. Cracking the knees, maybe. Keep on going. There shouldn't be any tension in your lower back. On the last one, go ahead and stay on the left. Move everything towards the left so the feet are in the same direction. Rotate that right foot out. Find your balance. Come up. So this is the same thing we did on the right, but now we're doing it on the left. Shoulders facing forward. As much of your hip is facing forward as you can handle without torquing that knee. Sink in and come up. The feet, the outside of the feet is maintaining contact with the mat at the entire time. So you have to adjust the stance if you're feeling that something is coming off the mat. Lower abs are up. Shoulder blades gliding back. So pay attention where your shoulders. Are the shoulders reaching to the sky with the toe with the with the toes? Yeah, you got toes in your hands. With your fingertips, slide them down. Keep on going. Stand up, come into the warrior one. Clasp your hand behind you. If last time your top finger was right, flip it over, switch it up. Hinge it to hip. Bend forward. So this is modified Virabhadrasana 1. Breathe. Sink the hips more into the front. Send that front hip back. So what you're doing is you're engaging more of the inside of the leg while sending the hip back. Hands are active. They're pulling away from your shoulders, from your neck. Breathe. Release your hands. Move your weight, move your, sh rotate that back leg forward, so toes are facing forward, step back, down dog, shift your weight forward, chaturanga, cobra, down dog, come down into the child pose, sit back, active child pose, walk your fingertips as far out as you can, while moving and sliding your scapula right all the way to the back, to the opposite direction. You should be feeling an active stretch in your rhomboids, your traps. Everything is working. The triceps is engaged. We got store hand fingers, like now with yogi fingers. You want every single knuckle be kind of embedded into the mat. You're really working the hands. This is just another way of making the connection between the hands and the back and connecting all the body, especially if you're going into the um, inversions or handstands, shoulder stands, you want that constant connection. The moment you lose connection, you will be falling. So let's sit up. And you got two options. If you don't have a peanut shape a stability bowl, you can use. Um, the foam roller, I'm using this as just a little bit more challenge. So sit down on it low enough for you to keep the balance. High enough for you to support the balance for your head. Place your hands by your side. From here, let's just connect to our core. Shoulder blades gliding back, so retract your shoulders. Light hold on the, on the floor with hands. Don't let your shoulders right up. Really, if you need, adjust. Because sometimes, especially if you're wearing like a tank top, the skin will stick to the ball. Let's just connect to the, feel about, think about minimum movement of the ball in your hips. Really stabilizing from the core. From here, what we're gonna do, we'll take the hand, connect, just like half a bicycle. Minimum movement of the ball, working 
from the core. Look towards the navel when you come up. Keep on going. Press through the heel of that leg that's on the mat. And think about making this left arm as light as possible. Well, as, as you can because you still need some support. Now, extend, come out, extend, come out. Now we're folding in. Think about bringing your body together from the abs. So come out of your hip flexor. The leg is pulled up by the abs. Last one. Stay here. Lower down. Let's reconnect with the other part. Just both hands on the mat. Again, don't have the peanut stability ball. Use the foam roller. Going to the other side. Grab control. Right hand on the mat. Left foot on the mat. Bicycle. Really working the obliques and the lower leg. The most stable the ball or the foam roller is, the more of your core you're using. Keep on going. Come through the center. Inhale when you come out. Reach out. Exhale when you come in. Connect to the core. Stabilize through the pelvis. Think about the weight. Are you shifting too much weight in one leg? One more. Stand foot and arm out. Tap. If it's available. If it's not, just bring it in. Keep on going. If you're feeling any tension in your lower back, maybe don't come up as high. Or think, close your eyes and really think what you're working with. Are you working with your hand and upper body to bring it up? Last one. Or are you really working with obliques? That's really the challenge. From here, let's just open up the arms to the side, extend the legs. So if you're on the foam roller, do the same thing. And just relax. This is like a little reward. Breathe. Shoulder blades gliding back. Hands reaching forward really to create a nice chest opener. Keep on breathing. To safely come off the foam roll or this, what you do is you grab your control so it's the inverted table and then just lean to one side. And that will be it for today. Until next time, free to be fit and pile yoga. Ciao.